Well, hello guys, this is AR. Playing a little bit of Wasteland. This is a mission for um, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. It's not quite like DayZ because it's not um, like an add on, so to speak. It is actually just a mission, but it's a lot of fun. <coughs> and it's. I can explain the basic of it, it's very easy. Um, you can choose between two factions the Op 4 or the Blue, blue 4. Uh, which is the red and blue, you see those red markers, that is friendly units and you can also choose the independent. The independent guys are just kinda roaming around lone wolf uh, which is something that I probably should have done since seeing as I'm actually playing this game alone now but um, just to show you guys the missions and stuff I'll stick with up for this video. Um, this is just the explanation of course and then I'm gonna get some action so we're gonna just cut into that later but um, Basically, you start out with your sidearm, and you can choose different uh, uniforms and shit when you start the game. I'm in the ghillie suit because I chose the sniper, of course, so I'm gonna try and find a sniper rifle eventually. There are gun shops on the map where you can buy weapons. To get weapons, you need cash, and to get cash, you need to kill players and loot them. Um, and there's missions popping up every now and then. There's ma uh, main missions and side missions. And they will give you the option to get uh, helicopters and tanks. And this game can allow so many weapons, but uh, usually it's just weapons and I mean helicopters and LAVs. Um, I don't know if main battle tanks is a part of this server, but we'll see. <coughs> but there's the server admins can choose from a lot of different stuff here. But some some of them is like quite overpowered, so I can understand why it's not in the game. So it's not like they see where you loot buildings, you can actually loot vehicles. And as you'll see as you've probably seen already, there's a couple of vehicles just standing around most of the time. And you will often find vehicles. So finding vehicles here is no problem. The, the bad thing about driving around in a vehicle is that sometimes when you come around a, a bend or something, you might actually face an enemy LAV and then you're you're screwed. You're pretty much screwed. Um, you can build bases by picking up base items and uh, carrying them around, you can put them in your truck for example and drive them to where your base is and then put them down, like this is a ramp, you can see I can actually pick up this ramp and move it I can also pick up this ramp, put it in my truck and drive it to my base in case our base needs a ramp this is a friendly unit right here coming and as you can see he's driving a SUV and he's mounted a 50 cal machine gun on top of it you can do that as well, you can find a 50 cal machine gun, pick it up and just mount it onto your vehicle if your vehicle is uh, you know, capable of doing that um, you can also tow vehicles, you can carry vehicles, you can move them. This game allows a lot of different stuff, which is kind of like strange stuff at times, but it's really, really fun and it, it does make the whole game come alive. So let's see, I'm gonna get in this uh, Ural and we're gonna drive somewhere to find some weapons. Now, this is the map. Uh, as you can see, it's the same map as in Daisy. And this is gun stores, and as you can see, this power grid right here. This is actually a, this is actually a power grid. So if you're gonna attack this city, if there's enemies there, you can actually take out the power power grid at night and then uh, storm the city in the dark. But of course, in this server, I just noticed that there's no night mode. It's always daylight. So this is markings made by my friendlies. Um, like they've seen something and put it on the map. So the, there's an enemy base in Novi Sabor. Uh, it's a good place to have a base, I guess. And then we'll see if there's any missions. I don't, it doesn't look like there's any missions right now. Missions are marked with, uh, with a red cross. You will see a red cross and it will say, for example, uh, get to the LAV or get to the ammo crates or attack the base or something like that. And they pop up with regular bases. So let's see, let's uh, drive out of here. So what I want to do right now is either find some vehicles with weapons in them. I'm just actually going to reduce the sound because it's a bit loud. Um, I think someone is shooting at me. No, it's just the sound it can be. Never mind. Um, what I need to do now is actually just find a weapon, and one of the best places to find weapons, at least as far as I know, uh, is from military vehicles like Humvees and, um, well, yeah, just Humvees and Vodniks and shit like that. I don't know if that's accurate, but at least my, with my luck, I've seen more uh, good weapons in those kind of vehicles. So. I can just mention, to get some action, the best way to get some action is actually just to go to the mission objectives. Uh, you will often find all kinds of enemies there, independents, uh, because there's good loot to be found at the objectives. You can find independents, uh, up for, blue for, everything. So I would recommend stopping a bit further away from the objective and then uh, 
you know, walking on foot in, unless you have some kind of 50 cal machine gun on top of your vehicle or something. And if you want to know how to get this game, you simply boot up your armor to Operation Arrowhead, uh, go to multiplayer, make sure that every single add-on is ticked off in the add-on box, but it's called expansion box, and then um, at least all the ones you can tick, you are able to tick off, and then, um, for example, like Daisy and shit. And then you go to multiplayer, um, go to filter, and search for Wasteland on the mission. 